Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. All right. Um, so the last time we did all this, we did um, everything about Yuri. So we've kind of seen what happens after Sayori uh, is erased and uh, saw Yuri's side. So we're going to go ahead and do Nitsuki's side so we can see what happens in that. So, um, let's see. Rose. Oh, we're already off to a bad start. Kitty, I know that one. Um, skipping. Poof. Swimsuit. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. fun, uh, strawberry, twirl, uh, bunny, um, sugar, boop. Pretty good. We did really good. Hi again, Royce. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Whoa, hey, hey. What's wrong with your face? Thanks for keeping your promise. Oh, you might. Thanks for keeping your promise, Royce. Hope the hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hey, I've seen that scare before. Oh, come on. It's not like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan on just come here. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see us see the end of it. Monica, you're in the you're in the way. I can't. I just said it's Nitsuki. Uh can't really see have a big mouth for someone who keeps manga collection in the classroom. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Royce. Is it just me, or does she look like she's getting bigger? I'll make sure you put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Mm, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. You are super close. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. 
If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no. It's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even though you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Th this? The whole classroom is turning. I just realized that the whole classroom is slanted. She's getting closer and the classroom is slanted. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks that I'll like despite me reading much. Or not reading. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Everything just went magically back to normal. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is bar already buried in a book. I can't help but her notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. While Mitsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Uh, I hear Natsuki utter an ex exasperated sigh. From within the closet. Something's going on with the music. Anybody else hear that? It seemed like it was a little fast before, and it seemed like it slowed down a little bit. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her, in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Fucking mine! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? I'm just going to jump right into this. Holy hell. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. <sighs> Excuse me, everybody. That was just impolite. But it happens. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. So, if that was the case, how would y'all ever be able to figure out how... I don't even know how to phrase the question. How would you know how much they like it if you don't express that you like it? I don't, I don't know. How do you know? How do you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of the various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious. I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Suki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Sitting a box set with one missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get closer. I get a closer look at the book, the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls. 
It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Yes, we have. We've heard it. We've heard it before. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I felt that. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Royce. Consider this a little... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't judge a boo -boo. <laughs> In fact, Mitsuki pulls the first volume out of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah. Uh, I stare at the cover. Ugh, <sighs> me, I am so tired. Although I don't feel like I should be right now. I'm usually awake at this time. It features four girls and a colorful in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. <gasps> Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling to me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. <laughs> Just say that. You make me feel weird about it. Mitsuki crosses her arms and scoots, scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Good. Oh, good heavens. I am just so tired. Now. <sighs> Not that I can say that it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer reclaiming the additional space. While she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the, begin read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a lot about... Ugh. Ugh. stop yawning. I feel like I've yawned about seven times in the past five minutes. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? She's just so puzzled. Mm. You don't. Mm. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. 
Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of those yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the... Oh. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Wow. That got dark pretty quickly. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica kind of a jerk about it. Ugh. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I'm... I'm here. I mean, here I am reading it. That's what I mean. I, was, I wasn't trying to create my own story. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. You're gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Why is it... Time passes. Okay. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh. You seeping? Are you seeping? We're not allowed to do that on the job. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. H hey! Whoa. I maybe jump a little bit. I can't read any of this. The sound is all weird. What is wrong with you? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... <laughs> she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Royce. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway... Why don't we all share poems now? I want to share mine with Natsuki first. I didn't even read what that said first. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Yeah, sure. Oh, skip. Skip. Skipping. Oh, well, that was... We didn't even... Man, the skipping and the skipping. Lots of skipping. We got all this good. All right, cool. Hi, Royce. Having a good time so far? He, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new at everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or th things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, or bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. 
I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Royce. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Royce. Really? That's a lot cutie, cuter than I expected. Ha ha ha. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So it takes, take that as a compliment. Ha <laughs> ha. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Itsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Ha <laughs> Itsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's a fussy mood pretty often. I get it, you're hangry all the time. Makes sense. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small. I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering, interfering with her adolescence growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. It's kind of a weird thing to lean to. Um, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I banish my pen. Brandish my pen. So, what do you think? I think I can skip everything. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for their mediocre... Whoa. Hello. The music. That was... Okay, it sounds normal now. But that was really weird. Writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess it's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Itsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Mitsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Mitsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk. Returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Q 
cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks. But it really didn't come out all that nice. Mm. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Royce did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Royce liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Oops. That's not what I... Ooh. You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Royce appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would be... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Roy started showing up. Nitsuki. Um, Nitsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own... Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Nitsuki. Me? Look who's talking. You wanna be edgy, bitch. Edgy. Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone as your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickened attitude. You think you can like, counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Royce hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over, head over heels after you. For you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Royce! She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Alright, here we go. We're gonna just click one that's you here. Yuri, 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 Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki. Hi, Monica. It's about time you showed up. I was getting a little overwhelmed when the music started picking up really fast. Oh, am I supposed to click? I am supposed to click. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, am I? This is still an option? Monica. Um. Hey, Royce. Why don't we step outside for a bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really should have... They really shouldn't have 
tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. Because you want me all to yourself. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, those poor eyes. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth with her desk with her palm on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. Oh, I just realized your eyes are... the creepy ones. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Royce, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over. So you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps mo glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the one... I should be the last to leave... To, last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around or something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Royce. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble. But, okay. Okay, well, I'm going to stop it right there. A couple things new, a couple things that we've seen before. Um, but that's the cool thing that I like about this game, is no matter what you do uh, with what you play, uh, there's always more like there, there just seems to be more jump scares that we haven't seen before and we're just now witnessing them so that's one of the things I do I do like and that's why I'm, I'm not skipping all this other stuff because once you get to the after Sayori disappearing you kind of just start stumbling across new things so I like that anyway thank you all so much for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to help the channel grow, go ahead and share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social medias. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.